New 2023 QD OLED with 30% higher brightness and greater durability. New MLA OLED that could hit 2100 nits and deliver wider viewing angles without off-axis pink tinting. There has been sizable advancement in OLED TV technology this year, and it's easy to be tempted by the latest and greatest, like a Kardashian to a camera. However, not every OLED model will feature a true hardware upgrade, so in this video, I'm going to talk about a few popular OLED TVs from last year whose prices have dropped so much. It just doesn't make any financial sense to buy their direct successors, which could cost up to $1,000 more at the time I filmed this video in April 2023. Looking at this top TV deals page on Best Buy, who have kindly sponsored this video, let's start with the LG C2, the best-selling OLED TV from 2022. While the new LG C3 is equipped with the South Korean brand's Alpha 9 Gen 6 processor, last year's C2 OLED still offers many of the same benefits. 1. By now, most remaining stock of the LG C2 should be using the deuterium-based WBE OLED panel which is more efficient, marketed as OLED EX by OLED panel supplier LG Display. 2. Just like the C3, the LG C2 is equipped with 4 HDMI 2.1 ports, each supporting the full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second, as well as 24 gigabits per second of DSC or Display Stream compression. This means that you can connect three HDMI 2.1 source devices to the TV, for example, a Sony PS5, an Xbox Series X, as well as a gaming PC with high-end graphics card, and still have one HDMI port available to carry out eARC duties in conjunction with an external soundbar or home theater system. And 3. Both the C2 and C3 can be 3D light calibrated, which is a unique selling point of LG OLEDs, a key reason why they are so widely used by post-production studios as client reference monitors. That said, LG Electronics has overhauled the service menu on the company's 2023 TVs including the C3, such that TPC and GSR auto-dimming can no longer be disabled from the service menu unless you have special access which may actually make the C2 more appealing for post houses and independent colorists who require stable luminance from their grading monitors at all times. The LG C3 supports DTS decoding and QMS or quick media switching, whereas last year's C2 doesn't. But given our experience of QMS through the latest Apple TV 4K box, we don't think the absence of these features is a deal breaker for the C2 at all. Browsing through Best Buy's top TV deals page, Another 2022 OLED that delivers great value for money is the Samsung S95B QD OLED, which also has 4 HDMI 2.1 ports capable of going up to 4K 144Hz unofficially. Now, I've bought this year's Samsung S90C to review, and found out that my unit was actually using the same QD OLED panel as the S95B, instead of the newer 2023 QD OLED panel. As a result, the anti-glare screen coating was very similar between the two TVs, providing effective attenuation of reflections, though turning grey when hit by light directly. Moreover, if we run this image retention torture test where we displayed a peak white window at full blast in HDR for 10 seconds, then switched to a full field grey slide, you can see last year's S95B clearing away the afterglow at roughly the same rate as the newer S90C. HDR peak brightness at different window sizes were also neck and neck. If anything, our S95B retail unit was actually marginally brighter than our S90C sample. Samsung has modified the EOTF curve on the S90C when tone mapping HDR titles with a maximum mastering display luminance or max MDL of 4000 nits, such that the APL or average picture level in HDR movies graded conservatively in a 4008 container would look slightly brighter than last year's S95B, which actually retained more specular highlight detail as a trade-off. The blue purplish blockiness previously observed in dark HLG HDR content has been fixed on the Samsung S90C, but in the USA where HLG content is exceedingly rare, this shouldn't be a problem for American S95B owners. The auto-dimming algorithm in prolonged dark HDR scenes has been tweaked to be somewhat less aggressive on the S90C, but since eventually it would still dim down to such an extent that shadow detail would be crushed anyway, 
you may still need to enter the service menu to disable auto dimming regardless of whether you buy the S90C or S95B, at the small risk of voiding your warranty if a Samsung technician bothers checking the service log. While there is a new HDR tone mapping setting in the picture menu on the Samsung S90C, setting it to active would engage dynamic tone mapping which tended to overbrighten the entire picture, therefore deviating from the creative intent, so we don't think it is a big miss at all on the S95B. Of course, the Samsung S90C is available in a bigger 77-inch screen size, which is highly likely to carry the latest 2023 QD OLED panel, but if you can only accommodate a 55 or 65 inch QD OLED, then the Samsung S95B might be the wiser buy given the price difference. While not listed on Best Buy's top deals page for TVs, another OLED TV that deserves consideration over its more expensive successor is the Sony Bravia A80K series which features class-leading native gradation, excellent upscaling, accomplished motion handling, accurate colors after calibration and impressive sound quality on top of OLED's true blacks and white viewing angles. I've just reviewed the Bravia A80L series and did not find any major improvement in picture quality over last year's A80K, which is admittedly already very polished. With the much-anticipated increase in HDR peak brightness failing to materialize on our test unit. Of course, some new features have been added on the Sony A80L, such as a game menu overlay that sits at the bottom of the screen while in game mode, as well as an eco dashboard which collates most eco-related settings on one single page, allowing you to reduce power consumption at the expense of brightness. However, are these new features worth paying a not insignificant price premium over the outgoing A80K? Potential buyers who are more sensible with money will probably say no, unless they absolutely need an 83-inch Sony OLED exclusive to the Bravia A80L range in 2023. Now, regardless of which OLED TV you buy, some of you may be worried about OLED burn-in, even though OLED TVs these days have so many anti-screen burn measures built in that the risk of permanent burn-in is minimal as long as you vary the content you display on screen. However, if you are that sort of person who wants absolute peace of mind, then Best Buy actually sells a warranty plan called Geek Squad Protection that can cover your OLED against hardware failure for up to 5 years, which includes screen image burn-in according to the terms and conditions. Very few other US retailers offer a warranty that covers OLED burn-in, so this is another reason to purchase your next OLED TV from Best Buy. If so, please use the links in the YouTube description below, which will help support the highly technical work we do on this channel. Thank you very much. Now, once you have purchased an OLED TV and started watching some content, you may encounter some weird anomalies without knowing what they are. To learn more about these anomalies and how to fix them, please go watch my explanation video by clicking here.